Hi everyone. Welcome. It's Monday night, 8 p.m. Eastern, so it's time for Stamping with Denise. I'm so glad you're all here. Yay! Has everybody had a great weekend? I did. It was it was a great fall weekend here in Michigan. Um, if you know me, you know I really don't like fall. I don't like fall colors. Um, I mean, in and of themselves. I, do, the trees are pretty, yes. But I don't like fall because usually it's the rainy, cold, blustery, nasty weather that I don't like. Beautiful sunny days, even if they're a little cool, I like. So anyway, it was a good day here in Michigan. Or a good weekend. Um, but it's getting cooler. Anyway, so I'm glad you're here with me tonight. Um, little housekeeping, please, if you like my video, please share it and, sh and let me know you shared down in the comments. Make a comment that you shared. And everybody that does that, I will enter your name in a drawing to win the card I work on tonight. If you can't share, can you give my video hearts, please? Facebook likes the hearts better than the thumbs up, so I would appreciate it if you give me some hearts. There we go. Okay, if you're watching on YouTube, welcome. Please subscribe to my channel. And once you do that, click that little blue bell so you get notified when I upload a new video, which is most every Monday night. Okay, so last week I made this, I showed you how to make this card that showcases both sides of the designer series paper. Super card, super easy card. And this one is going to go to Elizabeth Brown. So Elizabeth, thank you so much for sharing my video and I will get this card out to you as soon as possible. Okay, with that said, I'm gonna change the view down to my hands and we are gonna get started. Okay, so last week, if you recall, I used the Sending Cheer bundle. Um, oh, I didn't put the rest of the dies on here. So there's a couple more dies missing. It's the one that cuts out the stocking itself, the little fur at the top, and these little patches on it. They belong on here too. But we're going to be using this bundle again today. So I, I like it. It's a lot of fun. Um, so versatile. And I, it's kind of been my go-to, the thing I want to go back to. Anyway, so we are going to use it and make a card like this. And I say like this because you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to flip the script, and I'll tell you what I mean here. Let me set this all over to the side for right now. Um, first of all, let me tell you the DSP we are using is the Joy of Christmas Designer Series Paper. I've used it before. It's a very classic Christmas designs. Um, makes it super simple to make great cards. It's a classic, classic Christmas colors, class, classic Christmas patterns. A good one to have in your stash. But the new product I'm gonna show you tonight, okay. Put on, put on your sunglasses, this might be bright. Woo, look at the foils. Ah, oh, I got a little stuff on my foil. Hmm, oh well. What I wanted to show you in the holiday catalog that goes with the, this suite of products is this package. You get four sheets of 12 by 12 foil. Look at how reflective that is. I have to be careful, you might see something you're not supposed to see. Look at that, wow. Um, you get two of Melon Mambo and two of Granny Apple Green. So this will last you a long time. And you can see on this tag here, I use the Melon Mambo. So the card I'm gonna make tonight, I'm gonna flip the script. The tag is gonna be the Granny Apple Green foil right here, okay? I think that is so reflective. And yeah, one of my dislikes about, I love foil, but one of my dislikes is is very easy to get marred up and get marks on it. 
so I am going to show you one thing here. When I cut out anything with the foil, I have a pad, I just had to get a new one. I get a brand new plate for the top or whatever direction the foil's placing is facing to run it through my die cut machine. Because any marks or anything like that on that plate, let me show you here on my mini. See, if I ran a plate, ran foil through these, on these plates, it would pick up these marks, okay? Even if they're just scratches, just like surface scratches and not really big ones, it's still gonna pick it up. So that's kind of my one dislike, if there is, of the foils, is that they're kind of, they can be temperamental. Um, so, um, so this was a, a brand new mat, or a brand new plate that I just got out. I marked it foil only. When it gets kind of scarred up, then it'll get re it'll get um, repurposed for probably my top plate or something. But anyway, so I'm and I only have that for my big machine. So I went ahead and cut it out ahead of time because I didn't want to drag my big machine over here. So so reflective, I love it. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna try this out, see how this looks. Um, that's granny apple green, so this is granny apple green, okay? Eight and a half by five and a half, folded in half. Let me get my bone folder here. There we go, good. I have a piece of white designer series, or white cardstock. This is, yeah, basic white. It is five and a quarter by four and it will fit on there and this designer series paper so because this one took the green with the melon mambo I went red with granny apple green and this measurement is five by three and three quarters in order to cut out my tag I needed a piece that was two by three and, and again too when you're using the foil only run through the machine the piece you need. Don't cut it any bigger. You know, sometimes you leave it attached to a longer strip. Don't do that. You're just going to get it messed up so it's not going to look good. Um, and then we have some scraps here for doing our stamping on. So I think what I'm going to go ahead and do is just... I'm going to adhere all of this together. Now... <clears throat> What you can do is stamp on here, cut it out, and then put the paper on the top. But since I'm using my mini machine, I'm not sure that it fits through this. No, see, that's too wide. So, see, it's wider than the plate. So I have to use a separate piece of paper. Where's my adhesive? Here's my stamp and seal. Okay. this on here so remember like I said this DSP is five by three and three quarters the basic white is five and a quarter by four and the card base is um, eight and a half by five and a half folded in half let me put this on here except I don't want to put this on here yet okay I'm gonna uh, I got it. Okay. Well, you know what we're going to do? We're going to go ahead and put the ribbon on it since I've already started and put some adhesive on it. So, I have this iridescent ribbon. It's cool, but you know what? I pulled this out. This is the metallic woven ribbon in Parakeet Party. I like it with the granny apple green. This is granny apple green, but you know what? I don't even notice much of a difference. I think they look pretty close to me. So I'm going to use this instead for even uh, for a little different bling. Okay? So we are going to, you know I'm going to get out, I'm going to get out my silicone mat. This is the perfect use for this. 
Um, if you accidentally put something on adhesive on something and you don't want it to stick, see, it doesn't stick to the silicone mat. Well, a little bit it does, but not bad. So, I'm going to put this on here. Give me a little extra. And I'm actually going to tie a real bow. You guys know I'm not a real bow tire very often. But, okay, I want this to not be so twisted. Okay. And I still have this end attached, okay? So, here we go. We're going to tie this bow. Let's see how it works. Not too bad. Not too bad there, if I do say so myself. You know, I'm never completely sure. And I'm going to, it wants to go that way, but I'm going to make it go this way by putting it under there. There we go. Okay, I think that's a pretty good looking bow there. I might trim that off a little bit more. But I love this metallic woven ribbon, and I haven't used it as much, near as much as I wanted to. So... So I'm going to go ahead, and this is exactly what I was going to do, was put a little bit of adhesive under it, kind of help hold it in place, okay? If I really wanted to get all that adhesive off, I probably could, but I'm not going to bother. So if you don't have one of those silicone mats, you really need to I'll make sure that you might want to consider one. They're not very expensive at all. They're great when you're working with other adhesives too, like the green glue or something like that. Okay. So that card base really is put together. We're gonna, let me set that there. Okay, let me get my map. We're going to do two different things for stamping. The first thing, I'm going to do the Open Me that goes on my package. I'm doing that in crumb cake. It's kind of a nice neutral color. And then I just cut it out freehand and I figured that my square was about three quarters of an inch by three quarters of an inch. So that strips about three quarters of an inch. Let's see if I can cut it straight here. You know what I'm going to do anyway? Nah, let's just cut it. Pretty good. Okay, so there's that. And now we are going to stamp this. Where's it at? Here it is. And that we're doing in real red. Now this designer series paper features both real red and cherry cobbler. I think this was more cherry cobbler, but I wanted to use the real red. So we're going to ink up our stamp, make sure it's good and inked. It's photopolymer, so you want to make sure you, um, I'm going to stamp it this way, um, get a good image. Sometimes those that are more solid like that are a little bit harder to get a good image for me. So, anyway, let's see now. We're going to use this die to die cut this out. Okay. Let me bring my mini stamping cut and emboss machine. I feel like I should... You know what, I, I I feel like I should replace the pads or the plates on them, but you know what? Let me get a piece of washi tape to secure this, just so it doesn't move around on me. But you know what, I use them till I can't use them anymore. My uh, top plate on my big machine, it actually has a crack in it. But you know what, actually I like it better that way because then it doesn't curl up. So it was, you know, it was starting to curl it as happens with our plates. 
you know, the, our machines, they're not, um, they are a consumable item and they're not meant to last forever. But yeah, so my top plate has a crack in it, but you know, just keep using it. Okay, there we go. You know what I, I like too about this die set, and I haven't played with this yet and done anything with it, but there's this die here that you could cut out of maybe some kind of a, a foil or something, and you know, it can be a bow on your package. It doesn't fit that though. I guess it doesn't because I should have known, but I think that's cool. Okay, let's get all this out of the way. And let's put, assemble this. Okay, I'm putting this flat on here. No dimensionals or anything like that. There we go. I am gonna use a dimensional for the little open me. Let's see, here's... Here's a dimensional. And I I find sometimes that when there's only one dimensional on something, it kind of twists. So I like to have it anchored in a couple of spots. I mean, I'm still only using one dimensional, but it's kind of anchored down there, if that makes sense. So it keeps it from twisting quite so much. Let me grab these here. There we go. <clears throat> okay, now I'm gonna tie this on here with our, where did it go? Our thread. So this is linen thread. Actually, this is a little thinner. I think it's from one of the kits left over from a kit, but you know, we've got great linen thread. I really like, I've got like four rolls of it. But there was just a little bit left on this one, so I just pulled it out and decided to use it. What the heck? Why not, huh? Okay, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna go ahead and put some adhesive on this to attach this. Come on. Do you ever talk to yourself while you're crafting? You give yourself advice. <laughs> I do that sometimes. Okay, right there, perfect. So again, I'm just going to tie a little bow on here, nothing fancy, just like when you're tying your shoes. just kind of pull it down like this. There we go. That looks nice. I'm going to trim this up a little bit. Don't want this too long. Okay, and I th we're almost done. And you know what I'm going to do? I can, I can kind of scoot this ribbon under the corner of that tag which helps direct it the direction I want it to go. Otherwise, I could put a little bit of adhesive on there. There we go. I'm gonna leave it like that. Now, one more thing. You know, these have some of those speckled dots. They've been very popular. They're a back order, or they were. But I hadn't used these adhesive back glitter sequin. They also go with this, look at, with this suite. Look at these, aren't these fun? They're absolutely flat. So they're perfect for Christmas cards. They don't add any bulk. So we're gonna add these in Granny Apple Green. Cause again, it went with this suite of product. There's a large one. I don't know formally what the colors are. I think they're Granny Apple Green, Balmy Blue, and White. You get a lot, there's small ones and large ones. This would last you a long time. I like these. I might have to pick up some more before they're gone. But anyway, that's all. 
I have right now. We're finished that card. Pretty simple, isn't it? So tell me which one you like better. Do you like the one with Melon Mambo or do you like the one with Granny Apple Green? Tell me down in the comments. I'd love to hear that. And everyone, thank you for joining me tonight and I will see you next Monday night. My gosh, it's going to be November then. I'll see you next Monday night at 8 p.m. Eastern for Stamping with Denise. Bye now, everybody. Have a great day.